Good afternoon, friends. We are currently in Weihai. Andre came here specifically to set up a business, not only for the production of motors, but also for whales and cars in the future, to supply not just motors and controllers to other countries, but complete sets. In Moscow, we recently tested a very good four-pole motor. It shows a lot of great promise. This is similar to the DA95, also a four-pole, 48-slot motor. Someone was interested in this. The motor is faster than all the motors that were previously six-pole, such as DA100 and DA112. That is, the motor that will now be produced is also of the 1 on 12 size, but it is four-pole and much faster, as I mentioned. And in terms of power, it will be larger than DA112 because it has the same torque but greater speed. And in the test, it performed very well, meaning it was tested in the Fovalmash laboratory, which is renowned for its rigorous testing. And now the task is where we will install it. This is our first candidate where we will be installing it. This is a truck with a carrying capacity of one and a half tons. Practically the same gazelle that is used in Russia. But as you can see, it has a nice design. We filmed it while it was in motion. It currently has a magnetic motor. And what Andre is filming does consume more. And when we start moving, it goes up to 180 amps, meaning the consumption is high. When we go up a small hill at a low speed of 20 km h, the consumption is up to 100 amps, which is too much. If we use our asynchronous motor, the consumption is half as much. That is indeed, we are not talking about some stable speed, but about all transitional modes. Therefore, the consumption is indeed actually very particularly high when the motor lacks torque and is starting to move. The consumption is high, therefore, on small hills, when we start moving, the consumption is significant. That's why we chose to go with this motor for our project, which will be launched and will be available soon in the market. We will give it a name later on. It will be 112 SLM or perhaps something else. Then it will become clear. The main thing now is to launch it into production. The important thing is that the first tests have passed. The car itself is very good. Andre took it for a ride and was absolutely very pleased. It's extremely quiet and not bad at all. Knock on the door. Not a bad design in principle. And compared to that kangaroo we filmed about a year ago, which was certified for Russia, well, it's like night and day. We feel more comfortable sitting, it's pleasant, and the view is very nice. After driving through the mountains, it is definitely clear that this is an extremely manageable car. That is, the handling will not be lost with the motor. Expect an increase in responsiveness and the ability to drive in the mountains. Because, for example, this car is currently being considered for delivery to Indonesia, but my client, my international partner, who has branches in Singapore and China, needs a car that can drive in the mountains specifically and also in other regions such as hilly areas. This vehicle with a magnetic motor has a maximum climbing angle of 20%. This is insufficient for a truck. Moreover, if it is loaded with one and a half tons, it is clear that it will not be able to go up. Everyone who has encountered the DA95 knows that the motor has an absolutely enormous torque. That is 83 Newton meters from the start, incredibly. Plus, if you install a reducer, then the wheels will have a reducer of eight. It will be clear that almost 500 Newton meters is nearly like a tank, therefore, the new DA112 will definitely and certainly be pulled out. It is very clear that the torque will be even higher and the traction will be much greater. Therefore, we hope to create a very good motor and a good first vehicle that will indeed be equipped with our motor.